Skillets Unleashed is a mess. I'm going to say that right now. Skillets Unleashed doesn't have any sort of cohesion whatsoever in the songwriting, nor in the sound itself. There are a few good songs on this album, however the majority of this album is either filler or songs that are so confused that they don't know what they want to be. Unleashed is an album where Skillet just unleashes random ideas that they've done in the past, updates them, uh, polishes them up, and says, here you go. It feels more like a compilation album than an actual studio album. My name is Midnight Strike 3625 and I'm going to be reviewing the rest of the album for you right now. So, with Skillet's Unleashed, you get 12 songs, half of them are decent, the other half not so much, and with the first track, which is ironically also the first single, Feel Invincible, you get a taste for what the rest of the album is going to sound like. Because yes, while I did say it doesn't have any sort of cohesion whatsoever, there are similarities in how some of the songs actually sound. I'll give you a hint. Auto. Tune. Pop filters. Dubstep. <laughs> um... Stuff like that, filler words like la la la, hey hey hey, whoa, whoa, you know, stuff like that that you randomly hear in the background of pop music. Now, I'm trying to cut Skillet a little bit of slack here because I do know that before the release of their 2003 album Collide, they did have a similar sound to this, or at least a similar sound in regards to uh, industrial and technological stuff like that, electronica. They had a lot of different influences that really don't pan out today that they never really use. And you can definitely tell, I'm gonna fix my camera here, you can definitely tell that they don't really like those albums that they released before Collide because they never play anything live from them. Or at least they know that the fans do not really care much for the pre-Collide material with maybe the exception of the stuff off of Alien Youth, which is tolerable, I suppose. But as far as this album goes, I would definitely say, you know, this coming from a guy who has not heard the majority of the stuff off of uh, their first four albums, but, you know, I, I have actually heard um, the majority of Alien Youth and the majority of Invincible. Their first two albums, though, I just cherry-picked a couple songs to see what the actual sound of it was. With this album, though, it's definitely, wholeheartedly, honestly, the weakest album since Collide. I do not say that lightly, either. Half the songs sound like they could be off of a pop album that you'd hear on the radio. The other half sounds so muddled up and so messy that you'd have no idea where to even start. Some of my favorites on the album, actually, including Back From The Dead, The Resistance, and Undefeated, actually sound like they could be decent rockers, or at least half-decent Skillet songs. The one song I Want to Live is one of my favorites as well, but then I listened to the song Awaken Alive Again off of their Awake album that came out in 2009, and I noticed the songs sound exactly the same. Same structure, same riff pattern, same guitar melodies, different violin, sh you know, violin parts and different lyrics. That's pretty much the only difference with the two songs, or the different lyrics. Other than that, they are structured virtually the same. They are virtually the same song. Awaken Alive and I Wanna Live. And ironically, they have two similar titles as well. So it's a good song, but like I said, exactly the same. <laughs> as Awaken Alive. It's it's actually a poor man's Awaken Alive because Awaken Alive was much better, especially since I heard it live. I absolutely love it. So with this album being released, a lot of people are going to jump on the two bandwagons possible. The a true fan would appreciate anything an a band puts out, which is bullshit. And Oh my god, Skillet have lost their way. This out this band is dead to me. They cannot make any more good music, which is also bullshit. I've seen this band live, and a lot of people who have seen them live in the last couple months to a year will agree with me, they are not going anywhere. This band is here to stay. Skillet is a great rock band 
that released a subpar album this year, in my personal opinion. And even though I don't necessarily like it, I'm not going to go around and claim Skillet's dead, Skillet's dead. I did that last time in 2012 with Bullet for My Valentine after they released Riot. Guess what? I was absolutely wrong. They came back at the end of uh, 2013, the next year, with a killer single, and two years later with a studio album that rivals the likes of Scream Aim Fire. So I have learned in my time of doing this that if a band releases a subpar album, you know, once or twice in their career, it's not the end. So anyone saying that it is, just look at those bands that I n named. Just look at even Linkin Park. They released the uh, abysmal A Thousand Suns, and then they come back two years later with Living Things. And then another two years, c they come out with The Hunting Party, which sounded similar to Minutes to Midnight and Meteora a little bit. So bands never dead just because they release a subpar album. So I know I got off on, you know, off topic, off tangent there, but as far as Skillet, Skillet's album Unleashed goes, it is a subpar album. It is somewhat below average, but I wouldn't necessarily put it in the realm of, like, Hate Me or um, what was Shinedown's album last year, Threat to Survival, or anything like that. Temper Temper, Frequency Unknown. It is not that bad. There is some enjoyable songs on this album, but they're few and far between, and there is absolutely no cohesion, as I said before, with anything on this album. It has no idea what kind of album it wants to be, and that is the greatest detractor from this. So, that's really all I have to say. I think my final rating would probably be a 5.5 .5 out of 10. Not necessarily bad enough to reach the bottom of the barrel, but it's definitely scraping it. Well, it's definitely scraping the top side of it, I suppose. So that's really all I have to say. Five and a half out of ten. If you disagree with me, that's okay. Put reasons in the comments section below if you agree with me. Great. I'd love to hear your opinion on this album. So this is Midnight Strike 3625. Thank you very much for watching. Keep calm and rock on.